So hello everyone, welcome again and uh, this is the third tutorial for Java web application development tutorial series and this video in this particular session we are going to now we are ready to uh, create or write the code and start the very first application uh, in the JSPN servlets. <coughs> so I'm gonna switch my STS tool you can use Eclipse and the process will be same for both so for my comfort I am using this STS tool okay as we have seen in the first video how to install the STS and the set up the MySQL so right now I don't need any MySQL we are just going to create a basic application so uh, we just need this Tom this uh, IDE STS tool and the other thing we need a tomcat so let's download the tomcat from internet so i have that copy in the java on the configuration so i think in the first video if you follow it clearly you will already download and set up these things so i'm just going to show you how can you uh, use this so just uh, search java web project configuration and you will get the code one link code one java web project configuration here uh, you can download all the things and install like if you need Java you can go with Java you can download Java and install Java from here Java 1.8 and if you want to download the STS you can download and use the STS also the video tutorial is also available for installation I just need a uh, Tomcat so I just move here and I can download the Tomcat here but I have already downloaded the Tomcat and it's in my C drive I can show you let me check yes it's available here so I just need to configure it with STS so let's switch to the STS and create a very first Maven application <coughs> and also we have already discussed with uh, the technology that we are going to use and the Maven and the architecture MVC so hope you are uh, clear with that if you don't know we'll provide the link in description box you can follow this article and the previous video so it will be helpful to understand these things and the technology that we are going to use in the entire series of that particular tutorial so let's create a maven project and so just switch to the STS go to file create a new and go to file so we are need to use mouse Okay, go to file new <coughs> go to others search here for the maven select a maven project <coughs> click on next and <coughs> use default workspace location that means we are going to use the current location of uh, development click on next <coughs> So we need to select a copy here it's retrieving the archetype you can see the process here so we need to wait until it's going to uh, search all the archetype here okay so it's there so we just need for internal and select internal select internal from here so it will show you the internal file that's uh, and select maven archetype web web 1.0 or whatever the latest version there click on next <coughs> so we need to choose a group id <coughs> so for example i'm going to say com and the artifact id it means the project name so i'm going to use a java web application web application development or you can say Java web applications that's it and click on finish so it's going to process let it be complete process and download all the related files and it will create a simple project for us so now maven created a folder for us here which is Java web application and there is folder you will get the complete setup of that particular uh, project <coughs> now you can see currently it's using J2SE 1.5 but we need 1.8 so how to change it right click on the project go to properties and click on the growth project facts and select the version as a 1.8 click apply apply and close right the first thing is done now you can see an error here so 
the error is related to the servlet so how can you solve this error just open the pom.xml file it's looking for the servlet dependency but it's not finding the servlet dependency so this pom will help you to manage all the dependencies you can see currently it has a dependency which is junit and you can see in the code as well the junit is available in this tar but we are not going to use the junit <coughs> now uh, for now for this time we need a servlet so how do you get the servlet dependency just go to google and search for maven <coughs> dependency for servlet search here open the official website of mavenrepository.com and add the latest version of it so here is the code i'm going to just copy this and going to paste it here when i save the process is going to be uh, building here and you will see the one dependency is going to add here automatically you can see now <clears throat> the servlet dependency api 1.3.0 alpha let's go 1.jar file is there now you can see the uh, error is gone it means it was looking for that api and it's not looking for it so <clears throat> this is your index.jsp page which will be your welcome page or the first page that we are going to run whenever we going to run that application that file that page will be going to execute at the top so i'm going to set it like welcome welcome message so welcome to the web java web application development development tutorial that's it okay now how can you run this code and how to display this message over the screen so before run it i we need to set a browser so the output window so go to windows go to web browser and select the chrome here so automatically it will run on the chrome and now we need to import the server so let's run it uh, in process of run we will add the server there so run as click on the run on server and just scroll it up and select the apache from the apache foundation we need uh, tomcat 8.5 so select this tomcat 8.5 click on the next and now browse that your uh, tomcat for project um, tomcat uh, server so my tomcat is available in the c drive in my case so i go just open the c drive and open this folder click select folder click to finish now we deployed the server here you can see the server is available now here and it's going to start now and run the application so it will take some time so you can see the process is 4% yet so we need to wait for a while so it will be executed and show the output to us So this is the simple demo uh, or to create application a web application and which you going to show your hello world program or something like basic things so you can this way and uh, we can create a header or something let me show if you can see this so if you want to read about this article or this process you can follow this link so we'll provide this link in the description or uh, share the link with you so this this also is to contain all the step in the um, step by step in the written document so you can follow this also so all the steps are available that we have changed there you can see here now also the server configuration you can download the tomcat here also and the next step for run the application so you can follow this and this will be also going to help you now let's check the process okay it will take some time so let me pause the video and we'll get back to you okay now you can see the server is started and just go to your chrome browser and you can see the welcome to the java web application development tutorial message display it means the application is done successfully 
so when you whenever you're going to import the project uh, like deploy the server first time it will take time so if you're gonna try it second time it will run automatically uh, fine so go to run as to uh, for the next time if you want to run it just go to server uh, just right click on the project root folder run as run on server and select the server your tomcat 8.5 and click to finish so you can see the message here so this is simple html page and if you want to see how this welcome page is opening by default here so just go to bevinf and check your bev.xml and you can see the <clears throat> you can see we didn't add it if you want to change it by default configuration we can add the uh, things or code here so we'll we'll see in the upcoming videos how can we change this welcome now uh, link so we'll set uh tag here so it's not going to run index.html as a by default but this this is the later thing so we're just going to see how the project is created in the how the new project created in the in the sts tool or eclipse or uh, you can try it at your end and if it is work that's good if you face any issue you can comment me or you can write a message to me will help you to do that also you can go there and get the source code from the codec.com so thank you